Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to EU4 as Mongolia. When we last left off, we had just had ourselves a little fight against the Ottomans here. In which we didn't really get anything, we just took a bunch of money from them. And I was talking about how we were going to fight Muscovy next. I actually can't think of why I wanted to do that now. I think because I just wanted to be close to Poland. Because I'm mildly... Mildly skeptical of, uh, well, actually, they were just in another war as well, weren't they? So, their military's got to be depleted, right? Like, uh, they're not even showing up on, oh, wait, there's Poland. Yeah, they've got 42, they're, they're, like, down to half their fighting strength. And thanks to us fighting the Ottomans, that presumably has, uh, I mean, the Ottomans are actually still really, really strong. But, uh, with any luck... And, like, our, our major goal of that war was mostly just to extort as much money from the Ottomans as we could, as well as getting them to break their alliance with France, which will make future wars easier. I'm actually thinking to myself, maybe instead of taking all their money directly, I should have just asked for war reparations, then whatever money they were willing to give me. Anyway, we'll gather everyone up over here, and then we will head on over and go and fight our nemesis. Right, right, there's a bit of a mix-up going on over there. Actually, no, I can I can tell how this is going to play out. But I, I'm thinking to myself, now, let's, let's just focus on killing the Ming. Put them out of their misery, so to speak. Because their forts are mothballed right now, they're not doing good. And once we take this land, I believe, and just like, it's Kaifeng, I think that's it. Let's take a quick look at what we need to form the Great Wan. So we need two stability, so if we're lucky, instead of getting constant negative stability events, we'll get a positive stability event. We need Kaifeng and Xiang Yang. Or, wait. Wait, that's actually, it would be like Xiang Yang, I think, maybe? Don't quote me on this. I'm terrible at pronouncing words in non-English languages. Where is this mysterious province that we are looking for? There we are. Oh, right there. All right, so effectively, I'll just say I want everything. Give it all to me. All to Muffer Mongolia. And yeah, we'll start fabricating claims just so again we have a nice, uh, what's going on over here? Armenian separatists again. I hope there's no Ar Armenian cores over here. I don't think so. Okay, so Tiberistan should be fine. Tiberistan's good. They can finish conquering Persia for me. Yes, that'll work out. Anyway, let's let time tick along here. I don't have a fort over here. I don't need that fort, so I'm gonna get rid of it. How much money are we losing? We are losing a full ducat a month. We're gonna turn this off to save some of that money, and we will go to half power while we wait. Yeah, that 10 stack is like taking 100,000 years to get over here. All right, you can uh, join up, split up, and then start making your way downtown towards, uh, well, this this general vicinity. Look at all these mothballed forts. Where's our capital? Well, we'll find out when we take do the whole take mandate CB. Man, I love that Cassus Belli. It is the greatest in the entire game, for sure. Look at all these silly mothballed forts. All right. Yes, anyway. We'll just max speed and we'll wait. And we will watch. And we will learn. Malwa's declared war on Vijaynagar. Of course they have. Uh, yeah, the Ottomans, I mean, they're going to win. But at least this should keep them busy. They also still have this. Also, it's some Serbian separatist. Nice, if that works. This is a really weird looking... Uh, map of Europe. Oh crap, they actually... Well, actually, that's not that surprising. Wait a minute, you're fighting... Oh, you're fighting Morocco and Tunis. All right, so that'll make things rather interesting. They've got all their alliances, as far as I can tell, so they're probably not going to be... France is not going to be a problem for us in the future, hopefully. Right. They still hate me, though. Stupid Poland. I mean, part of the reason for wanting to go after Muscovy was so that I could get this land before Poland does, but on the flip side of that, I don't really need to do that anymore. 
Uh, let's also keep fabricating claims on the Ottomans for no particular reason, other than because we can. Ooh, if I could do that. Uh, I was also reading online, and as it turns out, what tech are we at? Alright, so we are at the point where our, our military is actually going to start falling behind. So it's actually very important that we get this done and probably reform our army, because I, I think Chinese tech, it's still, I believe, inferior to, like, the tech over here. Unless, I've never really checked that t in too much depth, to be honest with you, but I'm just going to assume that's the case for the time being. But, uh, yeah, in fact, I probably could have got all this going a lot... Oh, nice. You know what I should do? Like, at this point... Uh, oh, wrong button. Start Golden Era. Need a... Oh, I need to fill free objectives. Oh, well, that's... That's not happening. I still don't own all the provinces in our culture group, but we should have that after this. So that'll be good. Cities and nomads, huh? Alright. Where the heck is Govi? We're gonna get this no matter what. Oh. They are conveniently... Oh, they're right here. You. You guys right there. Stop what you're doing. We will raise our forces again. And let's see, unrest or unrest? But we get lowered. All right, I'm gonna. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. We are not ourselves Muslims, so we're not gonna let them overrule the will of the Skyfather or something like that. Whatever our justification is for whatever it is we're doing these days. Is there any actual Ming forces over here? Oh, they knew what. Why does it seem like they always know what I'm up to? They've raised all their forts. Oh wait, no they haven't. These are still mothballed. Alright. You guys can go go over here. At uh, once, there we go. And we'll drop like one guy on each of these. Like, I swear, the AI knows when I'm up to something. Always. You think we could actually run guys down there in time? Okay, there's their capital. You might be able to do it. It's, uh... Like, there's a fort here, and it's fully maintained, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to... to get it. Alright. But yeah, it's gonna be important, I think, to... just focus on... I'm gonna tell you to just go home now. Alright, so these are still mothballed. Split that. Wait for the month to tick over. Ah, uh, crap. Wait for the month to tick over again. This time for real. Nice, uh, June war. There we go. Let's see, did they raise their forts? Alright, so the AI is not, like... They're not entirely... Like, omniscient. Well, they're not omniscient at all, but... I'm not even gonna worry about this until I kill... Like, this I might go back for, but this, it's in the mountains. I'm not gonna worry about that until I... Take out the Ming. Did they bring their forces back home? They're probably gonna siege out Alaska or something stupid like that. As you watch, it's gonna happen. Alright, so just about everyone is in position. Let's, uh... Oh, crap. I don't have any diplomats. Alright, you come home. Alright, so we're gonna have to wait one more month. I'm an idiot. It's okay, you can say it. It's true. Alright, let's see. Oh, come on, Bengal! Oh, you're fighting in another war. And, wait, you still have a truce? Oh, we have a truce until July of next year. Oh. Well, in that case, then. I'll just do that. There we go. And if I have to wait a whole year anyway, then we will wait a whole year. Then we'll free to bed or something. That'll be fun. And you might be done your war by then. Eh, probably not. But you never know, it could happen. I have almost no interest in what's going on in this part of the world right now. Almost no interest. Do do do. Do do do. Now, what we're going to probably do, I think, is we're going to declare war on the Oirat separately once we're, like, fully underway with this war. Because my, my general thought process is that uh, things will be good that way. How are you doing? You're at 15. You're doing okay. Uh, you still have... Like, uh, yeah, you have 146. Please tell me that they're not, uh, 
Oh god. They're embracing the printing press slowly. Alright, so we're gonna basically take all their money again to make sure that they can't embrace that for an extended length of time. It was Ju July, right? Yes, July. So we'll wait until May. Then we will raise our maintenance like so. Oh my god, we're losing even more than ever before. This is most undesirable. Oh, for the love of all that is good and holy. I can't afford this. I hate you people. I hate you so much. Especially you allies who are absolutely useless. Alright, take their capital. Declare war. Would be called into multiple wars. Alright. And wait, why is our... Oh, our, our uh, Diplo rep is so low because of the fact that we have annexed a vassal recently. Right. Alright. Declare war for the Mandate of Heaven. Uh, you... Ah, God damn it! they raised... They raised their forces. Alright. That's okay, we can make this work still. You, uh, gonna pop you off. Or wait, is this, uh... Ah, it has a garrison. They knew. They knew what I was up to. Ah, and this has a garrison. Crap! Alright, so we'll just... Well, I guess I'll just have you sit here and wait until... Until we're done. That way you can, like, play whack-a-mole with the... The forces of evil. Which, uh, are attacking me right now. Alright. Come on, survive just long enough for me to get in there and reinforce. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Good. Alright. Yeah, and you guys just sit there together. Actually, you can stand there. You go there. You go there. Alright. What is the Ming's forces? Wow, they have a lot of cannons. I'd almost swear they were compensating for something. Alright, what are you doing over here? And I could have them sit on the desert and just try to siege it out. But I feel like that would be a waste of my... ...precious resources. Um... Are you doing anything? Where's our fifth army? The fifth army is a one stack that is... ...just sitting over here. Okay. So you're not doing anything, so I'm just gonna... ...gonna move you over there like that. And we are also going to raise our war taxes. Wait, now we're making money again? What the hell? Is it just because we're at war? Is that it? Is there some weird mechanic that I am unaware of? Probably. Oh, this is also part of the problem for why it's costing us so much, because we don't have any loyalty going on over here. Alright. We are getting all the sieging going on. We might as well... Oh, they have this fort activated now. Alright. Yeah, that's not worth it. We'll just... We'll just sit here and wait. Persia's declared war- oh. The Baristan declared war on Persia. Wow, that was fast. Alright. Yeah, you go here, and you go over here. You guys continue sieging over there. There is Ming's entire army. Okay, never mind. Everyone- Everyone pile onto the capital. It's our only hope. On their moving people. They're moving bodies. All right. Wait, who did the Ottomans just declare war on? Hang on a second here. Ottomans, they have declared war on Ethiopia. What the hell is going on down here? Kind of surprised. I hope Ethi Ethi uh, Ethiopia is relatively powerful. And here's the Ottomans with 92,000 men. And Ethiopia, if we resort this by alphabet instead of power. E F or D E. C, D, E, F, E, F, E, F. There we go. Oh god, they have no chance. They have no chance at all. Alright. There we go. The Ming also has no chance. They just don't realize it yet. I think they just hired like 10,000 mercs. Uh, you guys are probably going to try squishing me, so I'm going to get you to all come in here like so. Uh, yeah, demand they get... There we go. I hate you. I hate you, Poland. Alright. This is... Oh dear, they're coming in. This is flat terrain, right? I might still lose this fight. Wow, they're actually melting away. God, you guys are pathetic. Alright, let's see. Which one of you is our... 
Okay, you're the uh, main fleet, so get rid of you, get rid of you, and there we go. Okay, so now we just sit here and wait. I should be building more infantry now, because we are eventually going to be... Well, we're going to be reforming soon. So, we're going to want to do something about that. Alright, then you can go over there. You can go over here. And other... Other guy can also go into here. We want to siege this stuff quickly. Oh dear, we're losing money. Alright. There we go. Now we're almost making money. Almost. Wow. We are melting these guys like delicious hot butter. The Livonian Order has declared war on Muscovy. That's gotta suck to be them. That's for true. Alright, let's uh, continue on with the delicious... Delicious kilomajigging. Well, it's not delicious, but... That's eh, good enough. It's delicious enough. It works for me, is what it does. Where are my vassals in all this? Oh, Gazakumuk is... He's making his way over. He's trying. I appreciate that, to be honest with you. God, we're so great. Aren't we great? I think so. My only regret is that we weren't able to bring Bengal in here in order to get us just a little bit more... Now, I'm gonna sit here. I'll just, uh... Pop off cavalry guys to go siege out for me. This is working out very nice. Very nicely indeed. We're making money again and everything. War is good for business, my friends. Well... At least if you're in Mongolia, it is. Actually, no. We'll go like this so we can get maximum sieging efficiency. All right. We have taken Ningxia. This is in the mountains. That is in farmland. I'm not going to try sieging forts in the mountains again until we've wiped out pretty much all of our life on the face of the surf. At which point we will, I guess, start sieging that stuff out. All right. And uh, just to double check, what is it that we need? Hey, Feng. Oh, wait. We also have to ho own Chahar, Kalka, Oirat, and Uyghur lands. Oh, and I have to be the emperor of China, so... Right, I forgot about that one. Sure, you can have access. So basically, I am, I'm not going to form the Wan until we have... Like, I can't until we take the mandate, and I'm probably not going to take it in this war. Simply because... It's not worth it yet. We're not big enough. We're going to have, like, these big nations surrounding us. So we'll have low mandate. And also, it'll destroy... We won't... The Ming won't have their whole horde disaster event anymore. Which means... That we will not be as powerful as we could be. Where the hell is their army gone off to? This is probably... The greatest, uh... No, no, no. no. Don't drop off your step musketeers. I understand why you're doing it. But it's a bad idea. All right, and then you circle around over here. And we will continue with the siege of Majigging, Which so far is going exactly according to plan. Ming is building... Sp oh, they caught me building my spy network. Excellent stuff. And, all right, I guess that's as far as I go on this particular angle. You guys are bringing troops in. So I'm going to drop a siege here. And go and kill that. I mean, it just makes sense. You gotta kill the bad guys before they can siege your land. I mean, nothing else makes any sense. Excellent. Alright, good progress. We're gonna ignore the coastline for a while. So you can go over here, I guess. Yeah, anything touching, uh, Fuzhou? Fuzhou? Fuzhou. However I properly pronounce that. Oh, stop insulting me, people. Come on. Alright, let's, uh, let's suck up to all our subjects for the time being. What's this? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Failure of the Evangelical Union. I've got to be honest, that was actually the weakest Evangelical Union I've ever seen. Alright, we have finished sieging stuff out. We're actually doing really well for ourselves. And actually, given how grossly incompetent uh, the Ming is at actually defending their land, I am kind of tempted to, uh, just keep pressing my advantage here. Oh, nice. Colonial enthusiasm. Alrighty then. Uh, no. Maybe. We'll go for this. For now. Or then again, conquering Japan. Wait, that is in Japan, right? A-gun. Oh, it's you. 
Well, then again, that also makes sense, because you're this, like, ugly splotch in the middle of my empire. So, you know what? Why not? We'll declare war on Jian Zhu and on the Oirat, just to finish conquering them before... Before we worry about forming the Wan. So, we'll get all the land we need from the Ming in this war. And we'll also further embarrass them. But, uh, beyond that... This is probably, like, we're not going to form the one again until, but then again, unless we sit on this war until they explode into a bunch of small states, that could also work. In fact, that might even be, that would speed things up, and we'd get all kinds of additional tributaries, which would be good. Okay, he, Gazakumak is finally, finally arriving on the scene to get some work done. But then again, why am I even trying to siege out forts with you? Ah, what the heck. I'll do it. Just to try and tease the Ming into fighting me. I want them to hit me, but they won't hit me. They're quite cowardly that way, you see. But uh, so far, so good. I should even split these guys up. Siege out multiple forts. Not too far away from each other. That would be kind of, kind of unintelligent. Come on, we're at 71 frickin' percent. Like, how many more percentage points do we need? Honestly. Alright, let's get her done. If we can, anyway. Alright, so you will go here. You're going here. Everything is turning up mill house thus far, which is good. Uh, you guys can split up again to continue the carpet siege <coughs> Oh wait, there's 40,000 Ming troops. We're surely circling around to kill me, so let's instead... I don't know, we'll... Yeah, we'll go over here, we'll... This is in the hills. We'll go into the farmlands, there we go. That's a safe place. They're probably gonna try sieging land back, if I had to guess. Alright, you finally took that, excellent. That's the vast majority of their army right there, isn't it? It is. So I will let them continue what they're doing for the time being. Really makes no difference to me. As, as long as I siege out their land, we are in a good position. Okay, so they have a 40 stack and that 20 stack somewhere. Alright, we'll circle around here like this. We'll keep our armies in a defensive formation. That seems like the smart play. Has anyone invaded Alaska yet? No. Mercifully for me... What the hell is this? Norway? What is Norway doing over here? I take it that means that Denmark is not doing very well. Uh, you get back over to here. Let's start reforming the stacks. Oh boy. You know, I bet if I had been a bit more aggressive earlier in the game, we probably could have, like, done all this a lot sooner. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, these guys are dead, so we'll have to rebuild them, but we will... We will fight anyway, because we should be able to catch this stack, and if we're really lucky, we'll actually be able to stack wipe it. Probably not, but you never know. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no stack wiping, unfortunately. But we did cause some relatively severe losses, so that's good. And, uh, alright, I'm happy. Oh, and you're going to stack wipe that little one stack, probably. Nicely done. Well done. You have made me proud. I love it when my army makes me proud, don't you? A good feeling. Let me tell you, sir. Okay, I don't know why you're trying to siege that out, but I apl I will give you A for eff effort. Ugh, can't even talk. Alright. So the mountains are still up there going unchallenged. Uh, is there anything I could do to really piss the Ottomans off? Like, can I weaken them? Slander their merchants? Sabotage their recruitment? You know, I'll go for that, because I think that slows down their manpower recovery, or is it just their army recruitment? I forget. Might be a combination of them. Uh, I could finish off that, but no, we're actually behind the time now on both military- Who's ahead of me? Probably the Ottomans or Lithuania or something, if I had to guess. So we will leave that for the time being. And uh, just carry on with our lives as if nothing had changed. But yeah, we need to build more infantry, so we're actually... 
am going to start doing that right now. Because we are eventually... We are eventually going to switch out into being non-horde related, so... Let's build a couple more infantry to start, like, changing our ratios a little bit. We won't get the full advantage of being a horde, but we will be future-proofed. And it also occurs to me that it's time to wrap this episode up, so... Until the next time, thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking, and I shall see all you in the next video.